Okay, so here's what I do to measure my efficiency. Um, I measure efficiency on a monthly and daily basis. Uh, monthly because your efficiency will vary from, you know, season to season. So, you know, your, your efficiency is going to be different in July than it will be in December. So I keep track of that every month, but I also keep track of it on a daily basis so I can tell how I'm doing from day to day, um, you know, for the given month. So here's what I do. Okay, I've got two different uh, efficiency displays. All right, the first one is on the main dash. This is my monthly um, efficiency display. So it's the end of the month, and this is the procedure that I go through at the end of the month. Uh, you can see that I've got, uh, for this month, an average of 4.1, a little lower than I wanted to be for, for this month, but uh, that's what it is. So I'm going to take down some notes here. So I put down the number of miles I can that I've got, uh, so I can keep track of the, how many miles I've driven every month. I'm gonna put down the 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour. Okay, and then I'm gonna reset that. So I'm just gonna hold in this, uh, this dot button here. Okay, see that resets it. And then I'm gonna hit the square button. Okay, that's gonna go to the next display, which is my average speed. I don't really do much with that, but I'm going to note that anyway. 32.1 miles per hour, and then I'm going to reset that. Go to the next one. It's got the uh, number of miles that I've driven this month. 1,088.7, and an elapsed time of 33 hours and 51 minutes. So I'll go ahead and reset that. Okay. And now I'm ready for the uh, next month. Okay, now, on the center console, this is my daily uh, efficiency display. So today, for example, I achieved uh, 4.8 miles per kilowatt hour. It's a really good day, actually. Um, now, what I do on this is every single night before I plug, <coughs> plug in, um, I reset this the way you do that is oh i forgot to mention how to how to bring this display up no matter what screen you're on if you hit this status button okay eventually you'll get to it um so i can you know have the um the radio on or i can be in any menu or whatever i just hit status and it's going to pop this display up i actually drive around with this display up all the time so throughout the day i can kind of see how i'm doing that day okay so the way you reset this is you hit the energy button here, the blue E, go to energy info, and then go to energy economy, and you can hit the reset button. Yes. Okay, and that's all ready for tomorrow. And if you want to kind of track your recent history, you can hit the history button. You can see now this for me, this is going to be a day by day uh, graph. I don't find this all that useful, but you can kind of see the trend. Um, it's this past week, for example, looks like it's been kind of up and down. So that's what I do, uh, you know, on a monthly and daily basis. And that's, uh, that's how I track my efficiency. It's kind of a neat, neat game to play. You always try to beat your efficiency uh, from either the day before or at least improve on your monthly uh, uh, efficiency value. Okay, so I mentioned earlier how I noted down the various stats at the end of each month. And uh, the reason that I do that is I do keep track of that. And this is a good way to determine if there's, you know, your seasonal efficiency, how that uh, works out from year to year um, on, a, on a monthly basis. So here I'm just kind of showing, for example, a spreadsheet that I use to track various stats. Um, you can see that I've got, you know, the mileage driven, the in-car efficiency. Um, it, I used to also track the actual electricity usage because I could get that from my charging station. Um, that capability went away uh, for me. But um, 
I, I, I had been tra tracking that and actually comparing the actual electricity I used and not just what the car showed me. So I got some good data from that as well. Anyway, uh, so, it, you know, if you collect the data like that, then you can get charts which look like this. And here, basically, what I've done is I've plotted the monthly efficiency ratings that I got from the, you know, the, the dashboard, the instrument panel uh, behind the steering wheel. As I track those down and I, I keep track of these on a month to month, month basis. And in this chart, I show, for example, the year 2012 is in blue, 2013 is in uh, red, and 2014 is in green. And you can kind of see the seasonal variation here. Um, you know, I get better efficiency in the summer months than I do in the winter. That's kind of expected. Um, you may also notice that 2014 has dropped off a bit. And this kind of coincides with the fact that in January of 2014, I did get new tires. And I almost immediately noticed a, a drop off of around 0.2 miles per kilowatt hour due to the new tires. So even though the tires that I got were specifically made for hybrids, um, they aren't quite as good as the original factory tires that were on the leaf. So at some point I may go back to those because it, it did seem to make a at least a visible difference here. You know, you can also track other things like, so for example, here's a monthly distance uh, graph. Um, you know, pretty much I would expect this to be more or less level uh, throughout the year, you know, some variation. But every now and then you can see you know, some dips. So, you know, again, this, the colors are the same. You can see that in 2012, in October, November, uh, there was a pretty significant dip. Um, this was due to the fact that uh, my my wife and I went on a week-long vacation in October, so the miles were reduced in that month. And then in November, she actually had surgery, which cut down on a lot of the, our commuting. Um, so that, that kind of shows up on a chart like this. Um, also of note, in February of 2014, we got a second leaf. And so whereas before we were only driving, we drove the, our leaf as much as we could, um, now we're able to kind of spread the miles out. And actually, we take hers uh, more often than mine because hers is a, is a lease. And as long as we're under our monthly mileage, we may as well just use that one. So that'll just about do it for this episode. Uh, coming up in the next episode, I've got some tips on how to make sure that your tires are inflated properly, uh, to, you know, to make sure that uh, you get the maximum efficiency out. It turns out that that's also a pretty strong, uh, has a strong effect on the efficiency that you get month to month. So keeping those tires inflated actually is a pretty important task. And I just have an app that I use to make that a little easier to uh, to manage and also to alert you when your tire pressure might be getting too low because I found that the indicator light in the vehicle doesn't really let you know soon enough. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.